This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, students. Uh, in today's class, we are going to discuss about an example problems on response, time response. So, uh, so already we've seen that how we can find the uh, response in time domain. And uh, we found that what are the time domain specifications we have. And uh, so based on that, we are going to be solve that uh, few problems, how we can find that uh, response that is C of T from the give, uh, given question in different ways. Right? Uh, sometimes they will give that uh, block diagram. Sometimes they will give only vocal loop as a function. Sometimes they will give in sentence formation. So let me see that. So before going to uh, topic, uh, so I just want to tell you that uh, they just basics. So here the transfer function uh, we can denote that. So the, the formula for transfer function is given by g of s divided by 1 plus g of s h of s. So when it is in having the uh, negative feedback, right? Now, uh, here, what we call as G of S and what we call as H of S, do you know that? G of S name under H of S name under. If we're having that uh, negative feedback, so this is the form of a negative feedback, right? G of S divided by 1 plus G of S H of S. Now, what we call G of S and what we call H of S? Right. So uh, this transfer function we can call as closed loop transfer function. Right. So because when when we add the feedback, then it should be closed loop, right? So the entire transfer function we can call as closed loop transfer function. Now G of S alone we can call as open loop transfer function. So in that there is no H, then we can call as open loop transfer function. And H of S we can call as feedback. When it is unity feedback, then the value of H of S is 1. So you have to remember these three things. Okay? Closed loop transfer function means it consists of that is a G of S with respect to the feedback element. So that is closed loop transfer function. And so only they will give a open loop transfer function means that is the value of G of S. And if it is unity feedback, then you can assume that H of S is equal to 1. Okay. So, or if you take the notes and uh, write on the pro write on this problem, then you will solve this uh, here. Right. See, so, all of you note on this problem. Two point one. Append the response of unity feedback system whose open loop transfer function is. G of S equals to 4 divided by S into S plus 5. And when the input is unit step. See, obtain the response of unity feedback. So from the given data, we can write G open loop transfer function is G of S equals to 4 divided by S into S plus 5. And H of S, the given equals to 1. And they, uh, so what we need to find, obtain the response of unity base. So we have to find the C of T, right? So uh, what is the uh, formula for C of T? C of T and ten them. So how we can find how we can obtain the C of T here? So C of T we can append we can append transfer function into input that is R of S. 
So uh, C of S is equal to transfer function into R of S. If you uh, apply the inverse of the exam, it will get C of P. Now, the given in, in this problem, the input the given here R of S is equal to one by S because it is unity feedback. That is R of T is equal to one. Now we are going to be find that response of this system. So now I am going to do this. So according to the uh, uh, problem, uh, C of S is equal to R of S. So first of all, uh, let me see that whether it is unity feedback, uh, sorry, negative feedback it is. Yeah. So we will get C of S divided by R of S is equal to Z of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S. Now substitute G of S, H of S value here. So G of S is 4 divided by SC into S plus 5. divided by 1 plus 4 divided by S into S plus 5 into 1. So because H of S is 1, right? Now simplify this equation, you will get 4 divided by S square plus 5S plus 4. So, this is the closed loop transfer function. Okay. Then find the roots of this equation. What is the roots of this equation? So, S is equal to minus 1 and minus 4, right? So, uh, and tell me that what is the, uh, based on the damping factor value, so that is uh, this damping ratio value, this system belongs to which case out of 4? 4 is the same. The system is the same based on the zeta value. Undamped, underdamped, critically damped, over damped. Find the system belongs to what which response? Then it comes in So, because you are, you are, we are getting that zeta value is greater than, so it is a over time position. Now, I am going to be find that partial fraction for this. C of S divided by R of S equals to 4 divided by S plus 1 into S plus 4. So the response of the response of the system in S domain we can write C of S equals to R of S into 4 divided by S plus 1 into S plus 4. Now, already we have the uh, unit input, that is input, right? It has the unit step input. You know? So, unit step input, R of t is equal to uh, you are 1. Then, when you apply that Laplace transform, then you will get R of s is equal to 1 by s. So, I am going to substitute R by R of s plus low 1 by s substitute s1. Then, you will get 4 divided by s into a plus 1 into S plus 4.
Now we are going to be find that partial fractions of the system. A by S plus B by S plus one. Plus C by S plus four. So find the value of A, B, and C. So uh, if you substitute, if you simplify this equation, you'll get four is equals to A into S plus one. Into S plus four plus B into S into S plus four plus C into S into S plus one. Now, by using this equation, find the value of A, B, and C. What is the value of a? A is equal to one. Okay. Next B. What is the value of B? B is equal to minus four by three. Okay. So I'm going to substitute B is equal to minus four by three and C equals one. So check once uh, C value plus one by three na minus one by three na. Plus one by three, and the C value is one by three. Students, are you got these values, all of you? Now we are going to be find that response of the system in time domain. C of x is equal to one by s. Minus four by three into one divided by s plus one plus one by three into one divided by s plus four. Now, if we apply that inverse Laplace transform, then you will get that. Response in time domain. So you will get C of t here. C of t is equal to the inverse Laplace transform of one by s is one minus four by three, and this is one plus one divided by one plus uh, s plus a format. So if you apply the inverse Laplace transform, you will get e power minus a t. So here one is there, right? Then you will get e power minus t. Plus one by three into here you get e power minus forty. If you simplify this equation again, c of t equals to one minus just take one by three common from these two terms. One by three into four e power minus t. Plus, sorry, minus e 
e power minus 4. So, this is the response of the given system when it having that unity feedback and unit step response. Let me check this answer is correct or not. Right. So, this is our answer. 1 minus 1 by 3, 4 into e power minus t minus e power minus 40. Are the players students? Do you understand this problem? Right. So, uh, we'll see that uh, second problem. Second one. See, all of you know that uh, second problem. A positional control system with velocity feedback is shown in figure. What is the response of system for unit step input? So, note on this also, I'm going to write here. So, from the block diagram, uh, G of S, we can write G of S equals to right. So, from this block diagram, G of S, we can Right, G of S equals to hundred divided by S into S plus two, and H of S is given by zero point one S. Plus one, and it having the unit step input. So R of S is equal to one by S. Yeah, and so, so uh, listen, students. Uh, e problem, e problem. Who external look six times each other. External example. E, uh, e same problem. E M change like one same problem six times each other. R13 regulation or R15 regulation. Lagan. So, on time point. So, Jagat Kunchuk is lengthy on to the but listen carefully. Okay, no? So, make easy to understand. I love it. So, this is the given parameters from the system. Okay, no? so all of you know the proportion. Question not just now. Then it's, uh, start the problem. And it has a negative, uh, negative feedback. So, based on this, we have to form the transfer function. C of S divided by R of S equals to G of S divided by 1 plus G of S H of S. Because it is a negative feedback system. So, that's why we got first two here, plus here. Okay, now. now substitute of uh, G of S H of S in this formula. G of S is 100 divided by S into S plus 2 divided by 1 plus 100 divided by S into S plus 2. into 0 0.1 s plus long. So this is the closed loop transfer function. After we substitute that open loop transfer function with feedback element. Now, if you simplify this, numerator will get say 100 divided by s into s plus 2. divided by if you cross multiply this you will get s square plus 2s plus 100 into 0 0.1s what will get 10s plus 100 into 100 divided by 
s into s plus 2. So both will get cancelled. Final we will get 100 divided by s square plus 12 s plus 100. First of all, uh, tell me that what is the system it is based on the zeta value? So, zeta value based on this e particular system, a e response someone chill. One is under undamped, under damped, critically damped, or over damped. So, out of this four, which one is belongs to this? Right, under damper because the zeta value should be lies in between zero and one. Okay, now so uh, this is the uh, we found the transfer function like this. Now find the roots of this equation. Roots of s square plus two s plus hundred. What you'll get here? Find the roots. So uh, you 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 can't able to get the direct uh, roots of this. So you'll get uh, I, I think uh, complex conjugate roots because there is not possible to find the roots of this equation normal way. So you have to use that minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 480 by 2a. Okay. So e formula base test kunte a must be choose out. So I'm going to write the same transfer function is here. C of S divided by R of S equals to 100 divided by S square plus 12 S plus 100. Now, in this equation categorization, A is equals to 1, B is equals to 12, and C is equal to 100. Already we know the formula, right? For the finding the roots, minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. So substitute all the parameters here, minus 2 1 plus or minus square root of b square is 2 square that is 144 144 minus 4 ac that is we will get 400 divided by 2 and minus 2 one plus or minus 144 minus 400 minus 256 divided by 2 what is the square root of 256 16 super so minus 12 
plus or minus here there is a negative sign in the root so if it is come outside then you will get j plus j into 16 divided by 2 so finally you will get minus 6 plus or minus j e so here the given system the roots having the complex conjugate so here we have to apply the two cases one is it is under damped so under damped ante actually ga eppudu oka damping value anedi oka value unte adi stable value anamata oka vela ranges unnai anukonte ante in between ranges unnai greater than 0 aa vidham unte we don't know the exact value so apude em avuthunte system anedi oscillate avutha untadi so suppose if you take that 0 to 1 uh, ante 0 ko 1 ku madhi under damped annam kada but you don't know the exact value so it should be oscillate now you have to write like this so ikkada meer oka oka sentence raayali endante the roots are complex conjugate okay na the roots are complex conjugate and the system is under damped and the the, the response of the system will have damped oscillations okay endukante the value should be lies in between 0 and 1 so apra em avutunte manaku oscillations ana form avutayi so ikkada chinna sentence endante the system is under damped and so the res response of the system will have damped oscillations so a sentence meer kachithanga raayali okay na now so ippudu ee complex conjugate unde roots ki manamu positive flux ni apply cheyalam it is not possible so let me see that what we can do so ippudu uh, i am going to be erase this so from this uh, transposition i'm i'm going to find the response in s w c of s is equals to r of s into 100 divided by s square plus 12s plus 100 now if you uh, if you substitute r of s value here then you will get 100 divided by s into s square plus 12s plus 100 this is the value we can obtain now find that partial fractions here that is will get a by s plus b s plus c so back to the question if the denominator having the second order quadratic equation you have to be include like this b s plus c divided by s square plus 2s plus 100 now we are going to be find this three values a b and c first of all i'm going to simplify this equation 100 is equals to a into s square plus 2s plus 100 yes plus 100 then what will get next plus b s square plus c s find the value of a b and c what is the value of a and what is the value of b and c a is equals to 1 okay
And what about B and C? So B is uh, 99. So, what is the value of B value? B value is 99. It is wrong. Wrong answer. Take a mistake, yes, sir. Consider the S square terms on the There is any S square term on the left hand side. So, if S square terms this one A plus B equals to zero. Okay, now. So, confuse out the Chalam and the mistake is the Because we don't have any S square term here. So, put B is equal to minus one out Because A is equal to one out. So, find C value. So, you can have minus 1 by 20, minus S of C. Right. C is equal to minus 2. If put the name on a simple way, okay, now. See, listen carefully. Kada jagataga simplify chal. So it is either butti but it chest kodadu. So you have to be analyze that in mathematical way. Then only you can simplify this equation. Okay, Jagata Chandi. Uh how I am going to be simplify this. C of S is equals to one by S. Now I am going to be taken a uh, minus is common. Minus S plus two R. Divided by S square plus 4S plus 100. Okay, na? so if you have a good 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 so, A plus B, A plus B, okay, A plus B, you know, so, E value gram, square root, only. square root, only. for example, um, 4 and 20, uh, sorry, 8 and 20, 8 value, name, anu, simple by say, 4 plus 4, ask for you, yeah, if 4 plus 4, you know, 2 square into 2 square, ask for you, that's 100 gram, simple for this, LR, ask for you, but I, I need square, Square it on the so even the yellow ask for you. And it is two parts in two parts is a unit key square it on the right thirty six and sixty four. Okay, now so uh, thirty six and six six and thirty six eight eight and sixty four. So one by S minus S plus two L divided by S square plus two L S plus thirty six plus sixty four. Right? Now uh, so again we have to simplify here. 1 by S minus in numerator I can I can write S plus 6 plus 6. So S plus 6 plus 6. So you don't ask me down. In the class why I am writing this. Now if you see this uh this three equation and the equation which you say then if a format on the mark which format it have in that? A plus B whole square, S plus 6 whole square formula only. S plus 6 whole square divided plus 64. Now I am going to be uh, simplify this. We are allowed to choose this one by S. 
scratch. Sorry, it is minus eight. One by s minus s plus six. So, you know, if you are subtracting from s plus six whole square plus eight square minus six divided by s plus six whole square. Plus eight square. Now here you can apply that uh, that is so. So it will move move our format. You know. So along there, if you apply the inverse Laplace transform, you can find the value for this. Okay, but you can't find. So these sentences with chair. Normal man to allow that there. S plus a whole square. S plus a divided by S plus a whole square. Plus this square. Even the one take cos to also man inverse la plus one. Let us say b divided by s plus b whole square into plus b square. Let us say even the one take the sine law also. Can't get a b value only eight only. Find a can't get numerator six only. So then all this all this one take just multiply divide by eight to the third term. So in the third term, only eight to multiply divide just one. Eight by eight. Okay, now put a last one. One by s minus s plus six divided by s plus six whole square. Plus eight square minus take six by eight outside six by eight into eight divided by s plus six whole square plus eight square. Now you can apply the inverse Laplace transform to this equation. Then you can get you can get the response of the system. See up this. Now I am going to be apply that inverse Laplace transform. So, Chana Mandi ka, and if you are the mathematical ka weak unta ro, they can't able to find in this format. You know, so me ko you want to format me ko practice our time. You have to practice number of problems. Practice jaise then you can get idea. So, mana yalla split up chali, yalla format chali, you know. So if you make a process, then if you put it in number of problems, if you practice just a lot, after this pass bit will do. So if you already have a test book, you send just a Google classroom book. Okay, now a test book will have number of problems. So problems only practice just only. In the meantime, your your subject or advantage only. Your interest only practice not bore you at all. So you never feel bored. So your interest just only. Ah well, so only the number of problems. So only that only problems if you practice only. So if you put it in practice, sir, then you can get a well knowledge on this concept. Okay, now now I am going to be apply the inverse Laplace transform to this, so I can get one minus Laplace inverse of s plus six. So I must understand minus e power minus six t cos eighty. E to minus A B cos B. I will do this only. Format minus six by eight. E to minus sixty sine eighty. So this is the response C of T. So let me check. Answer is correct. So one minus. So uh, this is our first one. 
ప్రాసెస్ <laughs> So, our uh, response then is tan domain is chadu and when is subjected to any step input, obtain an expression for closed loop transfer function, determine the undamped natural frequency and damping ratio. So, vision carefully. So, I am going to write uh, the response C of T. C of T is equal to, so all of you are not doing this problem, C of T equals to 1 plus 0.2. e power minus 60t 60t and uh, minus 1.2 e power minus 10t and they given that when it is subject to unit step input so all of s is equal to 1 and each okay now right so uh, now we are going to be find that uh, transfer function undamped natural frequency and damping ratio ante omega n no zeta value anukovali now uh, we are going to be simplify this so this is the response in time domain okay now if you apply that laplace transform to this equation we will get c of s is equals to so i am applying the laplace transform here 1 plus m is 1 by s is 1 by s plus second so 0.2 alage untundi 0.2 into 1 by 5 ikkada e power minus 60 unte s plus 60 vastundi minus ikkada 1.2 alage untundi say 1 divided by s plus 10 now simplify this 1 by s plus 0.2 divided by s plus 60 minus 1.2 s plus 10 just take common or denominator terms s into s plus 60 into s plus 10 
No, no bread you will get. Yes, plus 60. Yes, plus 10. Plus 0 0.2 into Yes into Yes plus 10. Minus 1.2 into Yes into S plus 60. So this is the numerator we got here. Now, if I expand this all term, uh, the numerator, numerator, I must expand chain, oh, sorry. So just expand the numerator. So, oh, students, uh, then we simplify it. So, we simplify it and say, numerator of values to the denominator of values. So, C of S equals to numerator denominator. Okay, now. The denominator 1 by s not common yield. So common you see remain common yield. So 1 by s and then the R of s go down. So C of s divided by R of s this could take a transfer function also. So uh, that is closed loop transfer function. Then the Catholic equation by just going to be data value and omega n value. Okay, now. So this is your homework problem. And do it and send after, after uh, completion of problem then send to me. Okay, now send change. So it will Zeta value of chessy, so no chess, zeta value of chessy, one point four three or sundi. Omega n value of chessy, twenty four point four nine or sundi. So, if problem is solved, just in our send chain. So, okay, students, so this is about today's class. In tomorrow's class, we are going to be uh, solve some uh, few more problems based on the time domain specifications. Okay. Na? Time to ask this question. Now, only problem is that class will just So, my dear, problem solve this and send it. So, okay, sir, I am going to end this class now. Thank you.